This is USABB TV. I'm Raynell Cooper, and we're here with Shiva Oswal, who just, as a team of himself, won the first ever U.S. Academic Bowl, uh, representing Team Pioneers from Cupertino, California. And and Shiva, what was it like? You know, you we talked earlier about kind of playing by yourself and uh, and and kind of what that dynamics like. But when you get these intense situations up here on the stage uh, in the finals, uh, in a very tight match against Midtown Classical in the semifinals, how are you able to kind of kind of balance the, your inner demons, if you will, and kind of keep yourself in the game? So I just look to the next question, and I don't care about really. I don't care about the score unless it's unless it actually makes a difference in how I play. And I just look to the next question. Looking to the next question. That's a good strategy. That's what um, you know. It's just like a like a quarterback. You gotta always look at the next pass. Always looking forward. Um, now, sixth graders, so you're moving out of the elementary division into the middle school division. But uh, some of the other players from Team Pioneers had a big day uh, so far here at the. Uh, U.S. Academic BN Bowl. Uh, what are you looking forward to for next year in terms of uh, full team pioneers? What's that going to be like? So, two of our players, Dalton and Josh, are moving to high school, and we sadly can't play middle school with them, sadly. But w as we practice more and more, we hope to uh, increase the skill level of our team and maybe even do the middle school nationals and academic bowl nationals as a two- or three-person team. There you go. Now, one thing that stood out to me and stood out to a lot of people who watched you play today is that you've got the knowledge, you've, you've got all of that, uh, but especially for, for your age and experience level, you've got the buzzer speed down pat. What sort of practice do you do? How do you get the buzzer speed to where you have it? So, instead of waiting to the end of the clue, when they mention crossing, instead of buzzing after this man crossed the Delaware River, I try to ban this man crossed the Dela the Dela and imply that it's probably going to be the Delaware River. Because I know that instinctly to buzz, it'll take a second to for the moderator to realize that and you will probably read a few more words. So I'm gonna get all the required information while I buzz before the opponent. Yeah, I read a few matches for you and I, I, I pride myself on my lack of sliding and I saw myself stopping mid mid clue and, and seeing you seeing you still get the point. So uh, that doesn't always stop you, but uh, what, I mean, I think a lot of people were kind of in awe of what you've been able to do today. What's your sort of, you know, practice regimen? How do you even prepare for, for going out this, going alone uh, against such a tough field here and getting the win? So, I didn't know I'd be going alone until actually quite recently before the competition, but I realized that I'd probably lose key areas, but I decided that I could just, if I get the toss-ups, I can probably win. Although, I do have to work in my bonus conversions, but I believe that if I can get the toss-up, then I can win the game. And by studying, I just study with the rest of the team as I would if I played normally, but really, academic, but really, my knowledge encompasses much of what academic bull asks, except for like some of the trash, but I think I, can, I have the rest covered. Well, big day for him tomorrow, today, of course, winning the bull, big day tomorrow as well. Uh, on Sunday for the, for the B, uh, but all around uh, great performance from Team Pioneers and of course Shiva Oswal taking home the elementary division uh, here at the uh, U.S. Uh, Academic Bowl. Congratulations. For USABB-TV, I'm Raynell Cooper.